I wouldn't. I wouldn't be offering it to the person in the first place, well, Mr. Warren. What if you don't know that the person is an addict? If I don't know the person... Relevant. Sustained. 350, 352, 800, 801. Okay. So, well, well, doctor, there's a lot of people that aren't, are not anesthesiologists here in the state of California that also use propofol, isn't there? Yes, sir. A lot of cardiologists use it, don't they? I don't know a single cardiologist who uses propofol. How about dentists? Dentists, I hear, use propofol occasionally in their office, yes, sir. How about pulmonologists? Pulmonologists use it during bronch... Actually, I don't know any personal pulmonologist, but I understand they can use it during a bronchoscopy. How about gastroenterologists? Yes, sir. Gastroenterologists uh, use it sometimes during uh, gas uh, colonoscopy. I mean, it's even used for as a sedative for combative patients, isn't it? I, I'm not unaware of that. But do you know what all those people have in common, sir? Did you say you're not unaware of it or not aware of oh, it? Oh, I'm not. I, I, I'm aware of those, of the pulmonary doctors, the gastroenterologists, and the dentists, and the emergency room doctors. I'm unaware of other physicians who use it. Those, the people that, what they have in common is that their societies have commented on propofol and those doctors are made sure they have the didactic the, the didactic lectures to use propofol they are trained in airway management they have simulations in their protocols as well as proctorship when using propofol before using those so the cardiologists have not commented about the use of propofol, and we do not have that training. Uh, you, you say you don't know of any pulmonologists that use it? Personally, no. And you don't know of any gastroenterologists that use it? I don't know any gastroenterologists who use it. I know gastroenterologists who do colonoscopies and anesthesiologists use it, but I understand that gas, the, the gastroenterology society has commented about use of propofol by gastroenterologists. But that's the extent of my knowledge. Now my question was, you don't know any pulmonologists that use it, you don't know any gastroenterologists that use it, and you don't personally know any dentists that use it. Is that correct? Yes. But you do know that these fields do use it. Yes, sir. How do you know what type of monitoring devices they have when they do use it? That's a great question. Actually, their societies when they, have, they comment on use of it, they actually outline exactly what I said, the monitoring equipment that's required for use of propofol. They're very careful about that. That's how I know that. Now, these individuals aren't using it for deep sedation, are they? They're, they're using it for, for deep sedation, also in moderate and deep. Okay, well, what about for conscious sedation? Is there a difference in uh, monitoring required? I, I'm unaware of a difference. Have you ever used it for conscious sedation? Have I ever used propofol for conscious sedation? Absolutely not. Please stay tuned to the...